Claudia Conk and I'm the Director of Food Nutrition Services. We provide all the patient food service. We also make all the special modified formulas for all the babies and all of our intro products. And we also are the ones that, that run and manage the food court. So we have both of our patient services and our retail food services here. Well, in patient food service, we have about 45 employees that are actually involved in food service, but as a total department, I have 80. And I also say that campus-wide, when we look at all our other hospitals, I think we do need to say we have about 160 food service employees that really provide this in multiple locations. You have your cooks, you have your employees that deliver the patient trays. Hi. Good morning. You have your employees that help the, the, uh, the patient with their menu. I have my diet office staff that is actually trying to coordinate all the menus, get all the needs uh, specific and make sure everything is correct. Storeroom people, on and on and on. Well, this is our patient tray line. Diet office. It's our production area. So we do have our own storeroom here with the food. We do get food deliveries quite a few times. In fact, we probably have a delivery coming every single day. Our formula room was recently rebuilt in the last couple years and is pretty much a state-of-the-art formula room. In this formula room is where we make all of our special infant formulas in which we have to add additives. I'm extremely proud of this department. I think we have worked really hard and I have a very tenured staff here. I think there was a time when we even just looked at this department and looked at our years of service and quite honestly, we're well over 500 years of service just in this department. The fact that we did over 246,000 meals last year alone. Now let's put that into dishes that we wash. So assuming that every tray maybe has about four dishes, what we thought was real interesting is if we stacked all the dishes up and looked at the height of those dishes, we did over 1,125,000 dishes. We make over 200 items a day. When you think about all the various variations of something that could come up. So if we do need to make modified pancakes, we make modified pancakes. You gotta take the lactose out, we will. Every single patient gets a very individualized menu. So they've got allergies, if they've got special needs, if they've got likes and preferences, or whatever their diet or their diet combination is, the menu that that patient receives has got only the foods that they're allowed to eat. So their choices then are right there in front of them as to what we have to offer. And if we need to work on more choices, it's amazing how many grocery store runs we do. We do whatever we can do to make sure that we can provide a child what they need and, and the variety of food that they like to get. We have added a beanie special to our menu. You know, children like to eat comfort foods and what they're used to, but we also see this as a hospital, an opportunity for us to maybe introduce children to something that's healthier or something that maybe they haven't tried at home. Chicken nuggets are still our most popular product. So what was it, it really interesting is we make over 650,000 chicken nuggets a year. My department, I feel like we touch the children multiple times a day. Walking in that, that patient's room with that tray is the one thing that can really be a positive.